and this is another edition of Studio 7 on YouTube West. I'd like to show off our new studio today. Uh, we've worked very hard on this. I think it took uh, about 35 to 40 minutes digitally to create it. And really happy to be in it and going to test it out. I think it feels very comfortable, pretty New York skyline behind me. And I'm not from New York and sometimes not very fond of it, but that doesn't matter. What does matter is the movie I'd like to talk about today. The movie I'd like to talk about today is a 2017 movie, matter of fact I just saw it about an hour and a half ago, called Only the Brave. It's the story about the Granite Mountain Municipal Hotshot Team from Arizona. Do not read or watch or research anything about this movie. Go see it. Go see it immediately. It is a 7 out of 7 production. You can line up all sorts of movies with effects and you can line up all sorts of movies with incredible stars and you can line up all sorts of movies with action heroes and bad moms and good moms and no matter what you line up i'm telling you right now 100 percent that it's not going to be as good as this movie there's not a chance i don't even know if i'll be able to get through this review of it without pausing because it's going to hurt and that's just how it is sometimes in a movie. It's so damn good that it's going to hurt. Josh Brolin, Miles Teller, Jeff Bridges, and James Badge Dale. Now, Jeff Bridges has been around for a long time. Tucker, a man in his dream. Um, he's been singing. Um, he is one incredible actor. Miles Teller is a relative newcomer. He's a young kid. And he does an excellent job selling his character. James Badge Dale was in 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, and he was Robert Leckie in The Pacific, a miniseries on HBO. And if you haven't seen that, you should, because it's incredible. And James Badge Dale does not disappoint. He's all juice in this movie. But mostly what I liked about this movie was the character development and your willingness and their willingness to introduce you into their lives of being hotshot firefighters, which right now in the state of California, which is where we are, really hits home because last week and in the state of California, we had 10,000 firefighters fighting fires in 21 areas and we had a containment rate of less than 20% with 50 lives lost, 150 still missing and damage in the billions of dollars. And the theater was relatively empty today and I am employing everybody and begging everybody to go see this movie and fill the theaters. The effects are outstanding. They sell the story. The scenes are longer than 20 seconds. They don't need a lot of action to sell the story, to sell the understanding. And our plot basically tells the story of the Granite Mountain Hotshots. These were a municipal team instead of being a federal team. So they were a group of men from sorry, from one city, basically. And it, it follows what happens when they finally get certified to be hot shots and goes through their first seasons and how they became famous in a manner that breaks everybody's heart. Uh, the movie was produced by Lorenzo de Bonaventura and Thad Lucanville. Um, it took a lot of people to get the story written. And, you know, had, had the, we not had the fires we had, uh, maybe the this, this story would have played more places. I don't know. It just seems like it, I didn't hear about it until most recently. So I'm kind of surprised because we haven't been getting a lot of good films. We haven't been getting a lot of good stories. We haven't get, been getting a lot of stories to believe in. And when we get those, I, I think we as a culture, as a movie culture too, need to come out and say, man, this is, this is relatively worth going to. And, and I don't know any other way to explain it other than to tell you that you need to see it. You need to live it. You need to, like them, learn what these firefighters do without equipment, to learn how the brotherhood of, of man survives with just the tools in his hands and the pack on his back and the men by his side. Um, and in this case, you know, women are out on those fire lines too. And it takes a lot to do this kind of work. And we owe it to these men that are portrayed in this movie. We owe it to the people that have been saving our homes and our families 
and have come to rescue us throughout different points in our lives. And, and maybe we just owe it to ourselves to learn something about other people and to say, wow. And at least that's, that's how I feel. The movie just opened three days ago. And today was the first day I could get a chance to go see it. You know, I don't get preview tickets. Nobody pays me to go see this. I'm a relatively small movie reviewer. And I can't think of any other way to tell you that if you don't see this movie, you're missing something. So I'll just say it that way. If you don't see this movie, you're missing something. Um, something good. And it says a lot about those we call only the brave. It says a lot about our firefighters, our soldiers, our police, our nurses, our EMTs, and everybody else that comes whenever we pick up the phone and dial 911. It is important. Um, for Studio 7, I'm Bob West on YouTube West. Thank you very much.